everyone, Eric Lima here. You are watching my YouTube show, which my sentimental thoughts come from my heart, and also my mental health thoughts and negatives come from my brain. It's EML77 TV, episode 594, and episode 97 of Get These Stomps. And we're going to play some MTV's remote control. You know, wait, I'm going to do this. And, and we're going to select that, and, uh, and we're going to enter my name. We're going to enter my name, we're going to get going after this, okay? Oh. And, uh,. We're gonna do this. Alright. Here we go. B, C. We're ready to go. And it's remote control time. You know how this works. We're getting going here. We're gonna have some fun kicking some butt. Alright, I'm in control. Channel 3, we'll start it off. The Brady Network. Which Brady developed a fear of heights after falling out of a tree house? Um... I want to try to answer it in. Yes, Bobby. Bobby Brady. All right. I scored five points, and let's uh, let's stick with the uh, Brady Network, shall we? For ten points, which Brady kid finds an exact double of themselves at school? Hey, it'll be Peter. <laughs> <clears throat> Although the ten, ten points, fifteen points. No love, Brady Bunch. Let's close out Brady Network here. Let's see what Ken over asks. Which Brady kid had a list? Oh, come on. Come on. Even I know that one. Seriously. All right. Just get... No, I was homeschooled most of the time. But anyways. All right. I got, I got 30 points. And we're going to... Let's see if we can keep going here. All right. Um, let's try Channel 1. Channel 1. The Elvis Channel. Who paid four dollars so that Elvis could make his first recording? I heard that question. He did. I heard that question watching an episode of Remote Control here on YouTube. Five points. Five points, and now we're gonna continue on with Elvis. Why not? Okay. Elvis was always surrounded by a bunch of homeboys who went by war organized crime inspired nickname. The Hillbilly Hitman, the Tennessee Troubadours. Memphis Mafia. What, wait. Um. The Memphis Mafia. Hmm. I kind of knew that one. I kind of knew that one. All right. Let's, let's close out the Elvis channel, shall we? So I'm in control here. What's the king's middle name? Oh, come on. Seriously? Elvis Aaron Presley. No. I did not skip school, Ken, but thanks for asking. He looks demented. I got 60 points and I am acing. All right, let's let's go let's go to the opposite end and let's go to channel nine. MTV, MTV, Led Zeppelin, The Who, and The Rolling Stones. Which one of these bands, original drummer, isn't dead? Oh shoot! I'm gonna try. Oh nope. Brenda, I just um let's see um. Rolling Stones, that's all I know of. Rolling Stones, 65 points. Alright. Well, stay with MTV, why not? Okay, who replaced lead singer David Lee Roth in Van Halen? I know it's one. A to buzz and B to answer. I think I forgot about it. And I got 75 points. Mastering the first round, dude. And we close out MTV. MTV. Help Robbie Neville out by translating the title of C'est la vie into English. That's life. That's a joy of life. That's life. C'est la vie. That's life. Alrighty then. Alright. 90 points in the first round, dogging everybody. Alright, let's go down. Let's go hit the middle. Number five. Gilligan's Island. All right, here we go. What natural disaster occurs when the castaways uncover the statue of an ancient tropical tropical god? Had to be an earthquake. Had to be an earthquake with a tornado. They all be dead. Come on now. Snowstorm on an island? Right. The next tropical one. All right, sticking to, I'm sticking with Gilligan's Island here. When the castaways find a duck, who saves her from becoming everyone to dinner? The Professor Marianne. I'm gonna have to buzz and go Gilligan. 
because Gilgan probably is attached to the pool. All right. All right, 105 points. First round. I'll close it out. Gilligan's Island. Let's see what Ken's got. To celebrate her own wedding anniversary, Mrs. Howell tried to cook up a romance between what two castaways? Professor Mary Ann, Ginger and Gilligan, and um, Oh! That was the first one. That means Ginger and Gilligan, maybe? Gilligan and Mary Ann? Can't be. Come on, Mike, don't waste time. Gilligan and Mary Ann. Ugh. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. Mike's in control. Let's see what he got. Can afford beauties and assassins. Some things just naturally go together. Milk and cookies, fish and chips, and of course, beauties and assassins. Listen carefully. She starred in Top Gun and Witness, and he's the hockey mask killer of Friday the 13th. Name them. Kelly McGillis and Jason. I knew that one. You know what? I'm going to stick with that channel, Ken. Stick with Beauties and Assassins. See what you got there. Uh, name Gary Hart's friend aboard the monkey business, and name the actor turned assassin who plugged President Lincoln, Sean Hall, and John with Boo. Uh, uh, oh, Donna Rice. Donna Rice. 120 points. I only missed one question. Let's close it out. See if I can make up for it. All right. She's the beauty who went from Cosby to a different world, and he's a one-time actor who assassinates villains in Dirty Harry. Vanessa Williams, Mary Lisa Bonet, Clint Eastwood, Diane Cannon. Lisa Bonet. <clears throat> Why are we kicking some butt? <clears throat> are we going to Einstein or something? Nah. Thank you anyways. 135 points. Okay, I'm um, in control. Let's go to channel Lucky 7. The movie channel. Before they're edited and interrupted by commercials, some movies actually play in theaters. Wow. <clears throat> Apocalypse Now sent Martin Sheen to Vietnam. What film set is Sean Charlie there? Platoon. <clears throat> I am dogging everybody. Up, oh, snack break time. I'm in the lead with 140 points. Mike's got 15. Brenda gets the score. Time for his second round. <clears throat> and we're doing it. And we're doing it. Alrighty then. Alright. Point values have been doubled now. Watch out for off the air. You point to a zip low. You yanked. Um, let's go to channel 9. Six feet under. Mm. Once these stars were on top of the world, now they're under it. <clears throat> and when they're dead, let's see what we got here. The late Forrest Tucker should sell Indian trinkets for us and play Sergeant O'Rourke in what series? I want to try F Troop. <clears throat> Alright, 150 points. I am. Alright. Let's, um, let's stick with six feet under. I am like the Undertaker. <laughs> who played the Latin lover who banged the conga and was the I and I love Lucy? Desi Arnaz, I knew that one. I knew that one. 170 points, and I aim to close out the channel. Six feet under. What actor was born Frederick Austerlitz? And is considered the world's most beloved screen yet. Ooh, that's a tough one. Fred Astaire? Fred Astaire! Fred Astaire! 200 points, and I am acing at this. Okay, let's go to the other end of the spectrum. Number one, please. Channel one. Prime, prime time! On Amen, how is Thelma Fry related to the Beacon? Why she needs daughter. I'm not to say daughter. Yep. Daughter. 210. 
Hey, nice insert. Nice hair. Thank you very much, Ken. Uh, let's see. 210 points. I am in the lead. And guess what? I'm sticking with prime, prime time. Let's see what I got here. In what city does the series 227 supposedly take place? Washington, D.C., Philadelphia. I'm going to go Philly. Oh, no, it's not Philly. It's got to be D.C. Brent is on the board. 20 points. She's in the lead now. <clears throat> now, she's in second place, I should say. I'm in the lead. What I'm talking about. All right, let's see if I can ace this one here. On Knight Rider... What is Michael Black's super sports card known as? Kid Super Card the Man. Come on! I have the show on DVD. You didn't explain me that to me. 240 points. Yeah. Alright. Let's go to In the Middle, Channel 5. The Cartoon Channel! These are questions about characters who tell jokes, fall off of cliffs, talk funny, and generally behave silly as we which we all could. Mini, Mighty, Mixie, Pixie, Pixie, and Jerry are all what types of vermin? They're all snakes. They're all mice. They're all bats. They're all mice. Come on. That answer was so good, it made me all feel warm, warm and tingly inside. <coughs> uh, let's stick with the cartoon channel, since I'm pretty good with cartoons here. What we got here? Three chipmunks made Dave Seville crazy. Name the two chipmunks who drove down the Gaddafi. Oh, that's Chip and Dale. Come on now. <clears throat> you know, when you die, you ought to donate your brain to science. No, I don't, but that's okay. All right, let's go. I'm going to close it out. The cartoon channel. Let's go. Let's go. What character usually ended up with Bart on his kisser, even though he was one really watch out for that tree? George of the Jungle. I knew that one. And I was super genius. I got 300 points. I get to sit back and relax, kick my feet, let these two go at it. Look at me, I ain't a dog in here. Okay, let's uh, let's go Lucky 7. Let's not take too long. I only missed two questions on all the prime time now. Michael Gross and Meredith Baxter Bernie play husband and wife on what show? Webster Growing Pains, Family Ties, come on. Come on. I know that, Ken. Thank you for telling me. Give, give me, um... Let's go. All right, prime time. Here we go. I only missed two questions. In Star Trek, The Next Generation, what bald Frenchman has replaced the righteous Jim Kirk at the helm of the Enterprise? Ah. Jean-Luc, Jean-Luc Picard. Played by Patrick Stewart, a legendary actor. All right, let's close out the prime time network. Here we go. Who plays Jennifer Keaton on Family Pie? the others. Even I know that one. Yes, I know that. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> 360 points. Let's see if I can, uh, okay, uh, let's go channel, let's go channel 2. Lab TV. Pound for pound, these are some of the biggest stars in Hollywood. Let's see what we got here. What big star had her own national TV talk show but became hugely famous after co-starring in The Color Purple? Sally Jesse Raphael, Oprah Winfrey, Whoopi Goldberg, Oprah. National TV talk show. <clears throat> and, um, 370 points. Yeah, sticking with flat TV, man. See what we got here. What Jumbo Star game fame as the overweight detective Cannon and recently played the bigger half of Jake and the Fat Man? William Conrad, Joseph Conrad, uh, let's see, William Conrad, uh oh, William Conrad. Don't forget which Con I know, I think it's Conrad, but forget which one, William Conrad. Ah, this is a tough one. I almost lost it there. I would have had 425 points. If I had not missed those two questions. Okay, he's Burt Reynolds' pal. He's the spokesman. 
No, Dan Aykroyd. I'm going with Dan Aykroyd. Dan Aykroyd. Comical acting legend. Okay. Let's, let's stick with, uh... Oh, somebody's going! Bye, Mike! Bye, Mike! Bye-bye, Mike! Bye-bye! Bye-bye, Dilly Xavier Woods! Bye-bye! 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 See you later, Mike! See you later, Mike! Na-na-na-na! Hey, hey, hey! Goodbye! Get out of here. Ejected from the ball game. Okay, me and Brenda is think real fast and looking at the scores. Can be like, yeah, uh, Brenda, I think we should give give Eric they give it. You wait, they kill me. Do you? Yeah, you made the film I ruined for you. Return of the Jedi. Midnight turn. Here we go. Charlie can't shoot. All right. Those guys let every pass is calculus. Um. And deliver it well. Uh, E.T. goes home. E.T. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, crap. Uh, the oh, 490 points. And Brenda's got 60. I win again. It ain't the record I set, 530 points. Oh, man, I'm the king. Yeah, we have a winner. Yes, sir, I'm drunk. Remote control champ once again, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very happy about that. Yes, indeed. So a lot better than the last, the last episode talking about not being happy that the fortune of peace is canceled. But like I said, I have a backup plan as always. That's right. You, I'm bringing to you, and and possibly the Wealthy Festival will not be far behind in that department. Well, if that's the case, I'm going to bring you the South Coast Festival Cup Championship for the Big League Slugger Baseball for the PlayStation One part of the East Arms. I'm probably doing up so remote control from there as well. Give me a lot of fun there. And I'm not going there, but you know what I mean. I'm trying to bring some little ambiance here. You know what I'm saying? We're going to have some fun with this, alright? Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you later. Episode 594, episode 97 of Get These Thumbs. will be a lot exciting. So thank you for, for uh, playing, and uh, thank you for watching, I should say, and I've had a lot of fun playing. Missed a few questions here and there, but that's a, especially in the Think Real Fast Lightning Round, but that's okay. We're going to have some fun. That's okay. I don't care. We're going to go nuts, all right? I'll see you guys later. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.